there, Dretz, Mogwai here, and I got yet another Legends of Runterio for guys today. And today, we're going to be fighting for our reputation with your boy, Stitches, in a deck I like to call The Mummy, featuring a new card that I found to be really exciting initially, and a card that I've had, like, the entire roller coaster of emotions experience with. Does that even make sense? English. The Grey Apothecary. I always forget how to actually say this card. Sometimes I go, Apothecary. I think I called it a pocket theory like a lot throughout this video. So if, if that actually happened, you know, future me ask for forgiveness because <laughs> I just don't even know what does this word even mean? Like I, I understand the and I understand gray, you know, I, I, I go that far. But the fuck is an apothecary? Can somebody tell me in the comment section down below? I, I'm too lazy to Google apparently. So yeah, thank you. The Great Apothecary is a two-minute landmark that says when an ally with five or more power dies, create a random follower with five or more power in hand. At first, I was really excited at the idea of an early game sort of like just value engine, right? So I designed like a very wacky sort of reputation deck that was going all in on the synergy with this thing. The problem is I didn't get the payoff that I quite expected because I realized that the variance with this card is so damn high that you cannot revolve your deck around it. You can't build everything uh, around it too much because otherwise you're going to have tremendous, just really, really frustrating inconsistency, right? But I even like ended up ranting on Twitter about it, right? Like I was like, oh, this card sucks. Yeah, it's too R it is too RNG heavy, true. But the the true perk of this card is to be played within an actual, you know, fleshed out reputation mid-range shell and then uh, use it as a way to not run out of gas and power through removal in specific reactive matchups, such as, for example, any sort of like Shadow Owls from your base control deck, or uh, what we're seeing now more than anything are these Annie Ezreal's, uh, what are the variants of like reactive decks are we seeing besides that? Like basically Noxus PNZ combinations are very prevalent right now and we are able to uh, effectively power through them with this card unless we get like a bunch of, you know, eight drops and nine drops, which can happen, keep that in mind. But it's a really cool card in that sense because it gives this archetype a much needed fuel that it was truly lacking before. This this sort of uh, combination got overshadowed by other mid-range decks like Action Sivir with Demacia, right? The combining Noxus with Sharima in a mid-range deck kind of like fell flat because of this. But now thanks to this card and some uh, some new other tools as well, we are able to really push and I really enjoyed playing this sort of deck. I really like Reputation as an archetype. It's very rewarding. You're hitting for a lot of damage, which is always really fun. And it features one drops that, are, in my opinion, are very cool, like the Thrashing Snapper. You know, we're actually playing a one mana epic and it's actually doing things. You know, it's kind of funny because in Runeterra, you know, I, as somebody like, I, I, I spent like a, a quite a few months playing Yu Gi Oh, right? And it's just kind of crazy. I mean, not kind of, it is absolutely batshit crazy how free to play this game is and how the fact that for some weird reason in Legend of Runeterra, the best cards are generally commons. Like epics are like, there's the meme that if it's an epic card, it probably sucks. And that's actually really like, they have to buff a lot of epic cards. Like they're actually amongst the worst cards in the game. And then you play something like Yu-Gi-Oh! And it's just like every like decks are basically super rares and ultra rares and maybe some rares here and there but it's it's basically ultra rare city and and commons and stuff like they are just like uh, uh, and in here like like imagine the gathering as well they are in a completely lower power level and it's just wild how people find that acceptable you know like uh i don't know like uh, it's it's Went on a bit of a weird tangent here, but I guess, you know, speaking it out for Runeterra's reputation. <laughs> Sorry. We uh, we have a great thing going on here, man. And uh, it's just really funny to say, oh, I'm, I'm excited to have an epic card actually do stuff in this deck. It's just a very weird statement to make in a collectible card game, if you ask me. But yeah, really like the Thrashing Snapper. We have a curve uh, with, uh, we are prioritizing the, uh, the Treasure Seeker, though. Uh, the cool thing about this new landmark is that if we play Waking Sands, we are immediately triggering it so we're not actually running out of gas by going for these sandstone chargers and because of this we're playing a full set of trifarian glory seeker as well
well. As we go up the curve, we have Quicksand for Disruption. We are playing Red of Negation, a very good card in the meta right now. And then we got Four Glory. I really like this card. I think it's really cool design, a very neat addition to Reputation, and works wonders with a leveled up Sivir in the late game. Especially with Red of Negation back up to protect against AoE that may be able to clear your Trifarian Glory Seekers. And if they do die, if you have the Apothecary, you get two two five drops like it's pretty damn neat whirling death as our way to interact in combat and make use of our high power stats and uh, a full set of whispered words alongside a couple of copies of one of the coolest cards out there the incisive tactician i just really like this guy's art he just looks i, I really like this this noxian you know like get up you know like the the theme and uh yeah the the colors and stuff it just i, I could imagine like uh, a show on this maybe the season two of arcane will take place uh, in noxus as well that, that'd be pretty dope honestly and yeah that's essentially what i gotta say i went off of the absolver to push uh you know for lethal with leveled up Sivir and a good old reputation with uh, vulnerable in conjunction with high base power and quick attack and that leads to some good mid-range times. I recorded a session for you guys today in Diamond Rink, and I had a blast doing so. Even though uh, I faced some rough matchups, <laughs> I, I faced decks that did not let me do what I wanted to do. But it, it, they're really good examples of, of matches in which, or like the potential of this deck to kind of like just find a way to push through. And, and go for the win and uh i like that there's a lot of diversity in, in the matchups as well i think and uh yeah we face off against an old meta king as well and uh, I'm, I'm in a great mood uh, about that <laughs> as usual so yeah that's not rambling that was all day hope you enjoy the games tomorrow's deck is absolute fire by the way i've been working a lot on it i think you guys are gonna like it so uh stay tuned for tomorrow's video as well enjoy the games i'll see you tomorrow This is a new Bandle Swain. Take out Nar for the little girl. Mm, let's see. Uh, this matchup is actually pretty concerning. Not gonna lie. They got a lot of really good removal combining these two regions, and uh, that does not sparkle with me. I think I may even have to mulligan away LeBlanc because I actually do want the uh, the landmark here. Just so I can potentially outvalue them. Come on, Tippers. It's point time. Oh boy. They even got like what is this like? Mecha Tippers? <laughs> what is that supposed to be? Uh we're gonna Yeah, can charge is pretty likely here. What other thing could they play? A little further, bingo. I don't think there's two mana two threes here. Like I, I don't think. I think whatever they develop, it doesn't trade into this. So double seeker here this is the better way to go. We, we force a blade's edge out of them. Okay. Gotta take the hit. We're not gonna get him free value. We're progressing Swain's level up, anyways. This feels kind of iffy, but all right. The best lies are beautiful. Death's hand me or Sentry flock. Mm, it's Annie. Maybe there's a world in which I can... I could play you, but the odds of them having another stun and are not as likely. And even even so... The soul wears away like rains of sand. Gotta try to drag her. Okay. Disintegrate. Watch your head. Uh, too good to be true. They're playing Walla. First the smoke, then the fire, then the 
shit. Haven't able to progress my reputation like at all. They don't let me talk, bruh. Yeah, we're just gonna take the hit here. Already leveled up Swain, feels bad. Let's go with um I could go with you, but I'm gonna play Roiling Sands here. Okay, this this deck is all over the place. <laughs> this, this deck is all over. Like darkness <laughs> in the mix. Like they're actually made decking this thing. What wondrous discoveries await below? I want to just start bopping these these sands. We got two vulnerables here. If they want to play Tibbers this round, then we're going in with all these. Because I want my reputation, bruh. That is certainly annoying. <sighs> Not allowed. Pride was my game, as it will be yours. To ruin. Now. I could dive. I could dive this into this, but I do have Sivir. Man, like they've they've just denied everything. Darkness, like just weird ass deck. Let's go make some friends, Tippers. All right. I could save the quicksand. I could also I could have blocked this, but then it just trades into that darkness anyways. Elixir okay, he generated that with that. Yeah, I mean sure. Now I kinda want a quicksand though. Preserve my body here. My You've got a problem, I've got a price. Using my health as a resource here a little bit to try to take control of the match. Try to push in some damage if it's even possible, because damn man, like we've been denied absolutely everything here. And this match would be very different if I had the uh, the landmark here, which is the sad part about it. I kind of just want to go for this, to be honest. I can also just do this. I'm gonna do this. Screw it. We have enough light, enough pressure to uh, deal with Leviathan now, which is the problem. Your cut. 
All right. Now give me, ah, oh, man, that absolver is, I, I needed that right now. Okay, wait, 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 wait. If I go for this attack now, then maybe this ricochet can do it. Ah, uh, let's think here for a moment. What's stopping me here? If I swing with this, put them down to two, this, this ricochet can finish them off potentially. This pay by the hour. But if they have if they have enough reactive spells, I don't know what I'm what I'm best playing around here. Like this deck is so whack. Go with this. It just depends. It depends if they have stuff like Conchologist or if they have like Arachnoid Sentry. Okay. 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 I, I just went with my intuition there. Like, I don't know if there was a correct play. Oh, let's go! Let's go! Oh, and I forgot the emotes. Oh! Woo! They got what they paid for. Yeah. All right, so we're gonna have another emote session here. I, I seem to just always be doing these on videos now. I keep forgetting because I, I made like a bunch of decks yesterday night. Like I've been working really hard on like deck building, all sorts of different. Uh, you know, I, I got some spicy shit coming. So I forgot to just like actually put the emotes on the stuff. So yeah, we're playing Shurima, so we go with the Shurima and GG. Like this is one of the top tier ones for me. So I, I, I rarely change it in most cases. Uh, we are, we do feature, like, there is a LeBlanc one, so whenever there's a champion emote that we're playing, we always have to include it. There's no Sivir one, though. So, what fits here? I mean, Sivir is not a Sentinel, right? So, doesn't, we're playing Reputation, so we got some Noxus action in there. Noxus and Shurima should be. I like this one. It's Shurima, and uh, it's pretty, you know, it's pretty top tier, for sure. Alright. What about Noxus? What could we add from Noxus? Besides LeBlanc. I think that because of Noxus, we just keep the, the Darius face pump. It's fitting. And I guess we go with the, with the Nasus. Because we, we already, we don't need the Renekton one, because we already are reflecting our pain with this one. And... I mean, if I don't if I don't see a good replacement for the Poro, I don't you know if it ain't broken, don't fix it. Where I go with this lineup, feels good. Round two, easy any from any swing to any easy. Nah, it's, it's better easy any. Easy any sounds better. Another matchup in which we definitely want to see uh, the landmark, but I'm not gonna say no to a Treasure Seeker turn one. Okay, maybe I should have. This is a very light hand. Okay, there it is. The Grey Apothecary. This is exactly what we want in this matchup. Let's go make some friends, Tippers. Gently, gently. <laughs> Alright, again, we don't trade for the turn. We take the hit. Let's see if we can be more successful this time at actually getting that reputation going. These sorts of decks really halt us. We're gonna lead off with the Rod Harper. No? I can ride it. Because this is even a better attack going off, and uh, we don't need to play the Apothecary until. Noctitus! We have a Blade's Edge. They always got it. They always got it. Alright. We don't need to play this until we actually commit another one of these, so I kind of just uh, want to go with you. Again. Oh, would you look at this place? Let's get my Rolling Sands in, so I disrupt whatever's coming. Alright. Awesome and now I kind of want to... Um, Develop you first. I'm not gonna resort to these right now. I can I can use this later. Right now I want to get rid of this Annie. 
That's our priority. So I'm playing the Thrashing Snapper. The Thrashing Snapper will allow me to progress my... My reputation, if it goes through, of course. Uh, so we could definitely expect some some sort of like answers here, right? Step lightly. No matter what, we're we're doing this onto this, okay? So the question is, if I go with a thrashing snapper, it's definitely going to eat something, and I'd rather hold back to it. Watch your head. Because for when I have the gray apothecary, basically. Yeah, because they're they're gonna have to resort to to this onto that. Close to leveling, but they're now is when we play this. We got a. Because now when the snapper attacks onto Annie, I'll have enough power to take her down unless, unless it dies now. Oh, well. That sucks. No fun allowed today, man. Like, absolutely no fun allowed. Like, none. None, yo. You gonna flock this? I think so, all right. We got Sivir here. Tibbers doesn't really have a great uh, impact right now, so I just I want to go with this. I'm gonna start going with the Waking Sands. I I, I want to start turning like a really strong attack here. Really sucks that they have the answer for our landmark. But that's the thing, like, we cannot let them have a, a free turn to play Tabalk, you know? Like, we need to punish Tabalk. Every single time. Alright, down goes Tibber. That's fantastic. I, we could go with this. Because they, they can't really, like, really ping them now, and they can ping one of them too. But because I'm going to dive these into these anyways, I'm just going to go with uh, this into Shiver and then set this up for later. Is that the best play? I mean, it's two, it's two attackers, but they're, they're more resilient overall. This can this gets cost three mana later, so we're going to go with this. One of these is gonna go down, it's more likely. Like, they're gonna have something, like a mystic shot, a thermogenic beam, something. Nothing's wrong, it's just waiting to be found. All right, so. Gonna catch the sky. We're dragging you because uh, it's more likely they wanna save Annie than this. <laughs> I guess they didn't have it. Another victory to fill Whew. the coffers. It's it's any day. At least this one is gonna let me do my thing. Unfortunately, this is not a matchup to showcase the gray apothecary. Apothecary? Apothecary? <laughs> I have no idea how to say it actually. <laughs> Let's go ahead. I mean, Merciless Hunter into Sivir is good. We have a Treasure Seeker here to block early on. So I'm just going to mulligan away one Sivir. This curve is nice. It is. Go get the shiny dove. If we see a, a Legion Saboteur, we are just going to attack and see if we can bait the trade there. We may just carry over our spell mana here. Where's my axe? Oh, that's that's a good, that's a great case scenario. Here. That's a great matchup for us. 
I want to keep this spell mana for you. Do we take the five damage? Do we take the five damage or do we drag that? We're preventing five damage here. It's a lot of damage. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. That's great. Um, I trade into this, right? Like, I match up well into this anyways, but this is going to find something to block regardless. So I'll mitigate the damage. That's good. I'll go the block. History forgets, but the Black Rose remembers. Working for that reputation. Minimizing the damage with that Waking Sands. So that worked out for us. They could have a stun here, um, but if it's like the the stage jam. The Empire. Oh. The few for the Steady now. Definitely, I don't mind trading this into one of those. Now I get to push more damage. Let's go make some friends, tippers. Whirling that is good. I never miss. For now, I don't think we should. Um, gotta wait for a, a stun. A stun effect is likely here. We got it first. Really sucks that we don't get to. Useless pawn. Just doesn't get us there, so I guess we just gotta do this. Take a little bit less damage. But definitely always target Annie. We're almost at that reputation. Good draw there with the uh, the thrashy snapper just giving us an extra body. For the glory of Look what good comes of mortal greed. And then using Bakai Sand Spinner here. For the Empire. Now they decide to block. So that really good timing for them. They're they're on the clock anyways. The black rose. Yeah, they're they're their blocking has not been good this game. Because this is not the moment for them to block. This is the moment for them to go all in because they, they guarantee two damage on me. Explosive prime. Yeah, that was a really, really weird block. That's a really good top deck. I can do this. So they're getting three damage in. No matter what, we gotta we gotta basically kill them here. We gotta basically kill them here. We can we can definitely um quicksand, clear the board, and then just go for an all-out swing. There's no combination here that I'm just worried about that top deck. This quicksand seems like it's important. Um Blood or gold. I always Nothing allows me to spawn two units anyways. Going down to three. Maybe it's better not to quicksand here, actually. Because the only thing that I lose to if I do that is to a Noxian for a roar. Now what could you be plotting? How hmm. many cards do we got here? 30 cards. A Noxian Fervor. Like a decimate doesn't do it. Everything's in place. It's th the question is what do I play around? Noxian Fervor or Decimate? If they only attack with these two. They have to attack with everything. Okay, so. Uh to progress your okay so nine there's no pretty way of doing this so wasted effort Block make here. it worth my while 
fuck with you here. Humble yourself. Yeah, that's a Noxian fervor. That's a Noxian fervor. That's the only way. Here's your kind. I could go for the quicksand, but if I go for the quicksand, is going for the quicksand better? Because they block here, six, five. I, I, yeah, kick quicksand was actually better. Quicksand was actually, I, I actually misplayed there. Noxion Fairball kills, because if I quicksand, I preserve my, my unit here, which means that, um, and I still killed them, right? Yeah, that, that was a miscalculation. If they have quicksand, Let, let, let's go over that though. They got what they paid for. Cause I I, I want to explain uh, level up. I want to explain my my thought process here. So they were at thirteen, right? So if I quicksand there, I pr I I basically prevent one damage. And what I do that is I prevent a Noxion Fervor top deck from killing me. The problem is I didn't think I had lethal, but I didn't calculate it right because I have the, the Thrashing Snapper still after using Quicksand. That's what I, I was going over it and, and I forgot that I, I preserved that body. And by preserving that body, that means that I have two units with six power, one with five and one with two. They block into two, I'm either LeBlanc or Sivir. Take it away six and then it's six plus five plus two, which is 13. Exact lethal. So the best play there was to use quicksand, not to set up the four glory. So uh, yeah, I mean, I, I, at least at least we we realized that. Just gotta just gotta think a little bit better. But yeah, ho hopefully uh, somebody watching you know appreciates these like post you know game commentary stuff <laughs> in English. Let me know if you do in the comments. Uh, it's important to evaluate. Even if you win, doesn't mean you played well, right? I think I played well for the most part. But definitely could have done that better. All right, round four. Okay, so this is the kind of control matchup in which I would love to showcase the uh, the apothecary. I, I <laughs> apothecary. I still don't know how to say it. I'd love to draw it here. Quick hands make quick work. Remember, we're the ones who make progress happen. Not on my work site, Bob. Keep it up. I'm gonna get rid of that before I can start snowballing them more more mana. Come on. Slip through my paws. Don't do this to me, come on. Sun's beneath me and winds behind me. Can a spirit fight? You can't come. Drawing a bunch of nonsense. Just can't take the hand, can you? Get love. <laughs> right. Okay, so not our, yeah. What's behind this door, you think? Deadly traps, angry guardians, bunch of gold. I'm trying to, like, make them spend their mana here. Man, it really sucks that I didn't draw the apothecary, though. Kill an ally here. 
so that I don't I don't lose a mana gem. I think I, I value a mana gem more. But that worked out really well. Progressing that reputation with that tactician as well. There we go. There we go. Now we're talking. With all this card draw here as well. Now now it's shaping up. Let's just play this immediately. Immediately. Let's pass back. Now we charge him. We gotta get that reputation, man. We got we gotta get these whispered words. At a more economic pricing here. I'm not gonna commit more than this. I just need two of them to strike. Crabby time. But this is where the value comes in. We keep coming. Is that Avengers? Okay. Glad we dealt with the Ezreal. We've taken a lot of damage though. We gotta be careful with another Ezreal. I'm not ready for an Ezreal right now. The strongest dead ally. Who would that be? That's spicy, but is that that can't be Ezreal though. Because Ezreal died when he was not leveled, right? I'm, I'm wonder, I wonder how that works. I, I guess we're gonna find out here. Um, I could just play Raz Bloodmane. Pride was my end, as it will be yours. I'm gonna just drag the Spiderling. <laughs> Nani? Alright, now we should get that reputation. Reminds me of the, the Troy movie. Ah! They never expect the tactics! Let's play the snapper first, see what they got. The table is set. Now we die. That's a wrap. <laughs> Magic. There's your boy. Check me out. Well, how about we don't? Close my eyes, but you're still here. I know, all right. Business as usual. You look good. They got what they paid for. Yep. We're facing Boki. And Boki is just spamming Pantheon Yumi. Shame on you, Boki. Shame on you. Rock, Copper, Sivir, Quicksand. I mean, is Grey apothe Apothecary? It's Apothecary. There we go. Is it even good here? It probably isn't. We keep everything else because the, the Quicksand is definitely very useful here. Good card as well. Snapper definitely shines here. We're gonna we're not gonna trade for now. We're just gonna chill here. I mean we could dive into it, but if they decide to buff this with Yumi, yeah. Do you have a chain vest? Nah, you don't. Out of my way. Mm. Press on. 
covered. Well, ain't that annoying? We're off on a new adventure. I play the uh, pocket theory. Here. I'm burning a little bit of mana here. Next round, six. Dude, yep. I I could have like I could have played something else to to keep the quick stand up. Like that's that's on me as well. I will run you over. Move. I need just a moment. I can't believe he has a third one, man. Oh my god, dude. I'm like, what are the odds, dude? He, he's not even in like... He's like one-fourth of his deck in. Uh... Bro, that is just... That is just... This pay by the hour. Really, really obnoxious. Um... Usual. I could drag you, but for glory, face me. May as well. May as well start working for the reputation. I don't even know, man. Triple protector. Triple protector. Ah, oh, so tilted. Not really what we want to see here. All right. One big dragon versus the world. Keeps getting bigger. Okay, so Yumi means he's about to level up, right? Give that to him again. I can try to find some value here. This this nonsense needs to be nerfed, man. This is ah, oh, this deck is just ridiculous. Yep, yep. Look at how big that. Like, how how, how am I supposed to kill that? Ah, <laughs> uh, it's frustrating. Let's double up on this. No, that's quite a bit. Bro. How do you even kill that thing? I have it vulnerable and... <sighs> Shit, dude. Let's 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 play something else. <laughs> oh my God, man. 
All right, look at that. At the Masia target in region combination. That doesn't make me want to puke. Let's go. Let's go. All right, we're gonna keep the thrashy snapper. We're gonna keep the LeBlanc. We're gonna drop these two. I mean, for this matchup, uh, do we keep? I mean, you're yeah, you're actually really good because they don't have any pings within these two regions. And I like seeing the the gray apothecary here as well. That's smart with me. Turn two, what am I expecting? I kind of want to curve out properly here, but to be fair, let, yeah, let's do this. Just to push more damage. This is, this is more backup. We don't need to play this on two. Interesting for them to not develop this immediately. Bask in her radiant blessing. Devotion through battle. It's interesting that they drag this one instead of this one. That doesn't make much sense to me. This is the Thrashy Snapper is the biggest threat here. Hmm, this is a bit awkward. We don't really have great um, summons here, but I do want to start pushing. I want to start working from for the reputation here. But no matter what, these are not good trades for this. I want to make I want to make better use of this snapper, but I definitely want to get rid of this immediately. So. I guess uh, sand spin is the way to go. The minus power effect is pretty relevant here, but I, I want to start working for this. Maybe I'll just dive you into that, honestly. Like what? What about this? I don't lose out on value, and I start working for the reputation, which I think is really important. Discipline and steel. I didn't want to play the Waking Sands yet, but... They forced us to choose death or the blade. Working on that reputation is important. We can do this! We can do this! If it's made of sand, I can light it! We love it when they run! What if they go for the fourth Demacia now? A combat trick just completely stops this though. Like I really, I really want, but I mean it saves them anyways. Oh, I gotta work for that. Honor is the rest I, I have spell shield on her, so if they go for the fourth Demacia now, then we don't have to worry about that being an attack. I don't think I'm getting rid of Lux this round, no matter what. But it's not about getting rid of Lux. It's about enabling the reputation here. So they're definitely going to be with me. Maybe LeBlanc was the way to go, just because I, I would get the, uh, the Sigil of Malice. I'm not sure. Maybe that was the best play. Instead of Sivir. They can pedal dust here. Danger pays. Keep this in the back. Actually, no. That's right. Run! I'm gonna weaken their fourth Demacia, so I'm actually gonna attack with this. I protect my own. This is a level up. If it goes through, I expect Lux to survive here because all, all they have to do is play this, and they can bop my spell shield, I guess, or maybe a single combat. But that doesn't make any sense. I'm a woman of principle. Mine is paid and get paid. Why why not do what you can to preserve the lux? Uh, 
Was that... Was that the right play? I felt I felt they could have played that better. And here's where I'd paint my constellation. Okay, so what do we got here? I mean, we got we got another. We can go we can go this into something. I I, I kind of like that line, because now the Fort Demacia can be strong, but we have we have resources here. Enlightenment is worth the journey. Get a 5-4 with spell shield that we can just use as a blocker here. Oh, they're going in with that. Okay. Well. We got we got one attack here. Wealth is merely a foolish distraction, my dear. Then call me a rich, distracted fool. How about how about dragging this and threatening lethal? I like that. There's no escape. That sparkles with me. Business as usual. Actually, no, we don't throw it lethal, anyways. <laughs> We threaten lethal with this, but we got a. Uh... We gave quick attack to uh, the scholarly climber here. Yeah, they don't even have to block if they don't want to. I should just drag them into one of these. I, I did a little bit of overthinking there, because no matter what, I can't get her to level up. So th this attack is actually quite clunky, <laughs> but it's fine. Like if they if they get comfortable, like I love. I should have forced them to trade. I should have attacked in a different way, so I forced them to trade. Yeah. I am everywhere. I am everyone. Because now what matters is that we have the mirror image with this expectation. So the table is set. Now we dine. Now we dine. We got some good value out of this. And some garbage as well. <laughs> Expect the garbage. It's gonna it's gonna come. But it's good so that we don't run out of gas. Like no matter what, like if we lose units, we uh, ooh. All right, we're gonna hold on to this then. What a view! You will not prevail. They got a block with everything. I mean, you got a block with that. I protect my own. You got, you got no damage. Oh, <laughs> exact copy. A perfect copy. Oh, got me there. But at least we keep getting fuel. This may be like this. This is still oh, <laughs> Yu-Gi-Oh! Up ah, there. <laughs> Did I? I think I just want to play you just to draw. We perceive what others cannot. So I go through my deck a little bit. Alright, sure. How are you stopping this attack though? Oh boy. That's pretty good. The prettier the rose, the sharper the thorn. Got him with the super friends. It was 
is inevitable.